I am the famous American. People know my videos. We, we dissect these DNA test results. Now, what's interesting in my own life is my dad who took a DNA test a couple of years ago, I think he's taking like two by now, but they updated his results. So whereas before he was all just pretty much English and German, now he's suddenly like, what, 3% Italian. And so my mom sent me a message and she said, your dad thought he was all just Mayflower DNA, but not anymore. And my mom, being half Italian her whole life, you know, when she took her DNA test, she was like four and a half. So, so they're almost the same amount uh, of Italian DNA showing up on their test now, even though, you know, my dad is just the typical white man from Tennessee. I mean, that's, that's it. And then my mom, her whole life, like, yeah, well, my, my mother is a first generation Mexican American. My father is a first generation Italian American. So she identified as half and half, but ultimately she and my dad are about the same amount Italian, which is not even that much as far as genetic markers go. But in that conversation, it's interesting because how have we not said that phrase before? I mean, I, did my mom make that up? I guess that probably not. I mean, I guess that already exists. Mayflower DNA. So let's just unpack that for a moment. Uh, I've made videos before talking about Anglo-Saxon, you know, DNA, and, and ultimately that a lot of people in the United States, if they don't have anything, uh, they, if they're not Hispanic or if they're not of African descent, if they're not Jewish, if there's not some other kind of thing, then they're wanting to find out there's something other than just ultimately Anglo-Saxon. And that's why with these DNA tests, people are so eager to find that they have Native American DNA because they always heard that their grandmother was half Cherokee or great grandmother. And what we're finding out is most, pretty much that's never true. These DNA tests are confirming otherwise. That was just something somebody said. They looked in a black and white photo and said, oh yeah, I can totally see how they're half Cherokee. They're not. You know, all oh, these, these DNA tests must be wrong because I know, no. You, you, See, people want to be something other than Anglo-Saxon Mayflower DNA. That's what they want. They want that to be true because it's more exotic. It's more interesting. If you're in the, if you're in the United States and your last name is Williamson, if your name is David Williamson, you want to believe you're something other than, I guess, just, oh, yep, yeah, okay, I took my DNA test. It's pointing back to Scotland, Ireland, England. Uh, Oh, a little bit of German. Okay. Now, I've said it before too that Americans in the United States specifically want to find out who their parents are. And symbolically, I say that. But as far as we're like orphans here in the United States, we where exactly did we come from? You know, uh, here here in this, uh, everybody came from somewhere, and some of us can trace our ancestors back a few generations. I happen to be able to do that on both sides uh, of, of my mom's side, but most people can't even do that for the most part. So Mayflower DNA, let's, let's talk about that more. Let's, because ultimately, I mean, wouldn't you agree? If we're saying Mayflower DNA, people who came over on the Mayflower, I feel like we're just basically saying English and Scottish and Welsh, like, I feel like it's implying that we're not talking about Spanish. I feel like it's implying that we're not talking about Italian or Greek or German. I feel like that's what we're talking about. Granted, I could easily be wrong. So help educate me, enlighten me, raise my IQ. Who was on the Mayflower? Was it Anglo-Saxons pretty much? Was that mostly who it was? When we have these romanticized ideas of having the first Thanksgiving with with the Native Americans and all that. Who's sitting at those tables other than the Native Americans? Is it people who ultimately were your basic white bread people, Anglo-Saxons? Enlighten me, because if you do, I'll probably make more videos about it and we'll have more conversations about it. And then in your life, you'll be a little less bored because my commodity your commodity is boredom. My talent is entertainment. Together we form a Venn diagram. I provide your needs, which are to be entertained, which 
likened back to how it used to be. When we'd have conversations on the phone, we don't do that anymore. No one does that. People don't talk on the phone. We're ignorant now. We're doing this. It's stupid, right? That's how ignorant we are. So part of who you are, you want to communicate with a person who doesn't necessarily even know what he's talk about or even care. Those imperfect conversations such as this. Your comments belong right here.